Hello, WCB. My name is Taylor Arndt. I'm going to be demonstrating advanced voice mode in ChatGPT and how you can take advantage of it for your Weather. page. Austin, seven photos. Okay. Edit mode. First, I'm going to go ahead and open up my ChatGPT app. Now, note this is available for both free and paid users. So no matter what, you can take advantage. Speak now. Hi, ChatGPT. Hey there, what's up? Speak now. I'm doing a presentation for the Washington Council of the Blind, and I'm going to be showing some use cases so people can get the most out of you. That sounds fantastic. I'm excited to be part of your presentation. What kind of use cases are you planning to showcase? Maybe I can help you brainstorm some ideas. Speak now. Well, first I want to ask, what can I do with you? There's a lot you can do with me. Here are a few examples. Learning and education. I can help you learn new topics, explain concepts, or provide information on a wide range of subjects. Two, productivity and organization. I can assist you with managing tasks, setting reminders, and organizing your schedule. Three, programming help. If you're coding, I can help debug, explain code, or provide guidance on programming concepts. Four, creative writing. I can help you brainstorm ideas, write stories, or even help with poetry. Conversational partner. We can chat about a variety of topics, practice languages, or just have a casual conversation. Is there a specific... Speak now. That sounds great. Thank you. The next topic I want to talk about is, can you give me a mock interview if I'm going for a digital accessibility job? Absolutely. Let's do a mock interview for a digital accessibility position. I'll ask you a few questions, and you can respond as if you're in an interview. Ready? Can you tell us a bit about your background and what drew you to the field of digital accessibility? How do you approach evaluating a website? Stop, stop. Speak now. One question at a time. And note, y'all can interrupt the AI if it's not doing what you want. Got it. One question at a time. Let's start with the first one. Can you tell us a bit about your background and what drew you to the field of digital accessibility? I was drawn into the field of digital accessibility because I've been doing it for six years and I want to make a difference in the world and the web. That's a great motivation. Now, here's the second question. How do you approach evaluating a website or application for accessibility compliance. Okay, stop. So you all get the idea. I can interrupt in real time. I can say, hey, I don't like what you're doing. Let's move on to the final use case. I'm trying to learn JAWS for Windows and I'm struggling with it. Can you act as an instructor in teaching me the basics and kind of go one thing at a time? Absolutely, I can help with that. Let's start with the basics of JAWS for Windows. JAWS, Job Access with Speech, is a screen reader that helps blind and visually impaired users navigate and interact with computer systems. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Starting JAWS. You can start JAWS by double-clicking the JAWS icon on your desktop. Stop. Or speak now. You got to make these instructions so that a blind person can follow them, right? You want to be instructional. Absolutely. Let's tailor this for a blind user. First, starting JAWS. Press the Windows key to open the Start menu. Type JAWS and press Enter. If JAWS is already running, you can open the JAWS window by pressing Insert plus J. How's that? Would you like to continue with more instructions? Okay, so you all understand how to use ChatGPT for education. You also understand how to understand what ChatGPT can do for you. And you also have seen a mock interview. I hope this has helped you to understand the capabilities of the advanced voice mode. And there is a lot more to explore, trust me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation.